Welcome, this is question 10 and today's question is on similarity. So the question reads, the volumes of two similar solids are 800 cubic centimeters and 2700 cubic centimeters. If the surface area of the larger one is 2160, square centimeters find the surface area of the smaller one so the solution to this the first thing we need to identify that we have two similar solids and we are given their volumes so we have a volume of 800 and a volume of 2700 so obviously there's a smaller one and there's a larger one so the first thing we need to identify here is that with the volumes we can get the volume scale factor and the volume scale factor is just the ratio of their volumes so for this particular case you can decide to have a smaller one over a bigger one or if you like you may also have a bigger one over a smaller one so whichever way whichever way you begin just maintain that until the end so here I will have 800 over 2700 so this simplifies to 8 over 27 so that is the volume scale factor but remember from the question you are asked or rather you're told if the area surface area of the larger one is this find the surface area of the smaller one so we cannot use the volume scale factor to find surface area so first of all we will have to obtain the area scale factor but you know that area scale factor is obtained as linear scale factor squared so that means from the volume scale factor we should be getting the linear scale factor and then work out the area scale factor so linear scale factor from volume scale factor is just the cube root of the volume scale factor so this should give us the cube root of 8 that is 2 and the cube root of 27 that is 3 so that means the linear scale factor is 2 over 3 from there we can now work out the area scale factor so the area scale factor is just the linear scale factor which is 2 over 3 squared so this should be 4 over 9 so with this area scale factor we can now find the surface area of the smaller one we need to be or rather we need to identify here that we have a smaller on the numerator and a bigger one on the denominator so we are going to form a ratio rather an equation so we have 4 over 9 we are going to equate to the areas so we are told that 2160 is the surface area of the larger one so obviously we need to have it on the denominator because the larger one is on the denominator so we are going to have 2160 on the denominator and we can let the smaller one to be let's say x so from here we are going to cross multiply so that we have 9 by x that is 9x and 2160 times 4 from my calculator that gives me 8000 640 so from here 
we can now get the value of x which will be the surface area of the smaller solid so we divide both sides by 9 so x will be again from my calculator i get 960 of course it's square centimeters so that is the surface area of the smaller solid otherwise that's it for this question thanks for your patience thank you for watching see you next time